All right, this is a quick video on how to make a quiz on Scratch. Now, this is making a quiz using buttons or sprites to click on. Um, there's definitely other ways, such as uh, using the uh, ask and answer, but in any case, just using a button. I started off by using uh, green buttons, which is what they give you, and then I just recolored them so we got the different buttons there. Uh, for the actual quiz question, I just used a, the text in a uh, in making a new sprite, so that's that one. And for the most part, for each button, the scripts are very similar. That they have the uh, when this sprite is clicked. So that's going to be the key there. When the sprite is clicked, something will happen, saying basically it's right or it's wrong. Now. I always have the broadcast a hide all. So they all have this right here says they will hide when you click on one of them. So everything basically disappears and something else comes up. Um, and as far as what comes up, that's going to be right here where basically the backdrop. So each button is basically the same. In fact, I just took these and dragged them into the other buttons so that you don't have to redo all the coding. Um, definitely a nice little shortcut there. And really, the three wrong buttons, and you may disagree, but in case I put these, uh, Pele, Maradona, Ronaldo, are all the same as far as what they do. And if you click on them, uh, I guess it has to be running first. If you click on them, that's what you're going to get. You rerun it. It's the same thing for each one. Now, you could change it. You could make it so it's different backdrops for each one. Uh, you can make it go to different, I don't know, to other questions, whatever. But I just have it with this. So this is really right here. That's what that button does. The only one that's different is right here. And, well, that wasn't exactly what I was going to go for, but that is what happens. There we go. So the only difference with him is I switch the backdrop to this one, and then it also does this messy show, which is basically getting the last sprite to pop up. Um, basically, in it to show. But again, the main concept is that for each button, I have them initialized by showing when you start the game. Then if you do click them, it will hide everything else. So I have that broadcast, so it hides everything else. And then this is what that specific button will do. Um, in this case, switch a backdrop, but you could have other options there. And then I also have this because you broadcast a hide all, everyone will hide. Um, I have that and that one, all of them. So essentially, that's how you get it um, to basically work with the quiz. You can do this with many, many more questions. Um, a lot of it just going to be copying a lot of the same information. So hopefully you learned something there.